for two months this year, Bumalanga experienced a free short condom shortage due to supplier stockouts. The situation is worse at the Kamati Port truck stop in Bumalanga's Nsanzeni district, where the shortage has been reported as ongoing. Sasegani Manzini is Bumalanga Health MEC and joins me now. Very good afternoon to you, MEC. Thank you so much for your time. Shortages going on for months on end when it comes to the distribution of free condoms. So why has that been happening? Good afternoon to the viewers at home. Let me indicate that there was a time where as nationally the supplier that is supplying all provinces was having a challenge up after COVID-19 to supply condoms in the country. But I must indicate that as a province, we never had the problem because we had more stock. Hence, we're able to supply the facilities that uh, we are normally supplying to. And uh, with the Komati port that you are referring to, after receiving the request, I managed to check. And the operational manager in that clinic confirmed that they never had a problem in terms of condoms. So we were managing it very well because in terms of our warehouse, we had more stock and we were able to distribute even during that time where there was a shortage. And currently, there's no challenge in terms of condoms in the province. Well, there has been challenges, uh, MEC, and uh, as you refer to the Komati port incident, there are reports that uh, as opposed to giving the ordinary 15 to 20 boxes, uh, sometimes the supply um, used to just get one box, which is not close to being enough. I mean, that in itself is uh, a desperate uh, a cry for help when it comes to the plans when it comes to curbing HIV, the spread of HIV AIDS and other STIs. I mean, that in itself speaks to something very shocking. That was during the time, like I said, during the time when there was challenges in the country, where the supplier was supplying all provinces. That's when we're trying to give them a smaller quantity so that they have those condoms. But currently, I can confirm that even Komati Port that you're referring to, there is enough condoms that we are distributing and as in also in the province as a whole. We do have condoms in our warehouse and also in our facilities. For that period of time, um, MEC, if you say that it was only for a short period of time, how severe do you think the consequences of that very short period of time will be on the long term? Because we're hearing about more reports of more and more young people, um, children giving birth uh, to children. And, and, of course, the teenage pregnancy going higher and higher. That in itself is something to, to reflect on. Yes, but as I've indicated, if there is a challenge of a supplier in the whole country after COVID-19 that disrupted us, but I'm indicating that as a province to show that we take the issue of HIV and AIDS very seriously. When we buy stock of condoms, we don't buy just for two, three months. We buy enough that will last us for a long time as a province. Hence, even during that time, I'm indicating that we had condoms that were distributed in our different facilities and areas where we know that our people, of course, the issue of teenage pregnancy is a serious concern and indeed as a province, that's why we plan ahead uh, that as and when the critical items that we know that we can't afford not to have during any specific time, irrespective of whether there is a problem or not. So as a province, we had enough uh, uh, condom during that time, so there was no time where we were unable to distribute condoms in the province. And also, the indicated areas that you are referring to, they don't have one box, I can confirm. They've got enough boxes of condoms that are distributed. Remember, the area that you are referring to is at the border gate, and we know that there are so many people going there. It's an opportunity for us to make sure that people as they are traveling, enjoying their Christmas, they are protected, because that was not own. It's a burden to the state, hence we make sure that as a province we have enough stock to be distributed in those areas. So you're pretty confident that there are no shortages as you and I speak? I have, we have even issued a statement to confirm because that uh, information might be misleading to our communities and they might, not, they might think that they don't have to go to facilities because we don't have condoms. So we have issued a statement clarifying that they can go to the facilities they are going to get condoms in the province of Mpumalang. Very well, thanks. Let's uh, leave it there for now. Sasegane Manzini is the Mpumalanga Health MEC, uh, saying that uh, their condoms are of sufficient supply in Mpumalanga.